Hi, I'm Daniel, and today I'm going to be reviewing this guy, Gordon Ryan systematically attacking the guard. So a little bit of background is my guard passing game has fallen out of sorts over the years, and it is not that great. Well, it's it's a lot better now, but more on that here in a second. But um, so I had a uh, an issue early on. Well, not an issue. It was a strategy early on. And that is attack the first available target with your first available weapon. So that being said, when someone would pull guard on me, typically they would not offer me their head or their hands first. Typically they offered me their feet. So what did I do? I attacked their feet. And over time, I got better and better at attacking the legs. And eventually I got to the point where I was just attacking legs basically every time they they would present me with them and then it was very difficult for them to pull away and then as they pulled away then maybe I would pass guard but for the most part it was basically if you pulled guard on me I was attacking your legs. I felt like that was actually limiting my game. Although my, my leg attack game got a lot better, it was limiting my game because I should be able to pass guard at a, at a good high level. So, um, in, I was working with Glenn, working with Haymar, working with some of my uh, really good training partners, and I got this. Um, this completely revolutionized my game as far as my guard passing ability. Um, the system that's in here is unlike any other system that I have ever seen to pass guard, and certainly better than the system that I was using. To pass guard when I was when I was trying to pass guard, uh, basically I would use kind of a uh, an over under double under or uh, knee slice pass system. Basically, it was pretty rudimentary. I mean, you know, whatever. It was pretty rudimentary. This is very advanced. This is the way that Gordon passes the guard. Um, anyway. Uh, I'll kind of get into it. Uh, I went to Gordon's seminar last year uh, in April, and he went over a few of the things that were in this. And those few things, I think he probably went over, I don't know, five or six uh, different things to break and pass guard. And those alone, uh, me and Hamar went to those those courses, and those things alone like revolutionized our ability to deal with the guard. And then when I got this, uh, it took it like four steps further. Um, so anyway, on this video, there's like 10 hours of instruction and it is pretty much anything that you can think of as far as problems from the guard he addresses in, in this video. Uh, it is extremely dense. If you are new to jiu-jitsu, don't get this yet. Uh, as you progress and as you get down the, the basic guard passes of jiu-jitsu, then you can start to incorporate these things. But if you don't know the simple guard passes, the over-under, the double-under, uh, the knee slice, the back step, uh, which he calls the long step, if you don't know those passes, Man, just learn that stuff, learn those those basic passes, and then once you get to, I would say this is for uh, blue belt or above, if you're a really good white belt and you really take well to this, you know, maybe this is for you, um, but this is a pretty advanced, and by pretty advanced, it is a very advanced guard passing system. And if you're new, you're uh, you're really not going to be able to get it unless you're just a jujitsu genius. Um, so he addresses half guard headquarters position, which he calls um, uh, what does he call it? Uh, I'm gonna have to read here. Uh, split squat. He calls headquarters split squat. Most people call it headquarters. Uh, he goes through how to pass single leg X. He goes through, uh, you know, breaking closed guard, De La Hiva, X guards. All There's like four variations of X guard that he goes over. Um, just almost every possibility that you can get deep half, all of these things, he goes over uh, how to do them. And the, the video kind of starts off with uh, some kind of introduction stuff. 
uh, how to break close guard, and um, and it moves on to the split squat. He works a lot from the split squat headquarters position. Uh, I mean, there's, I mean, a couple of hours of just him working from split squat, uh, and then he goes into over and under, and he goes into a few things. Uh, a few submissions that he goes through while he's guard passing. So his system is basically, I'm going to try to loose pass to start with. I'm going to go to tight passing as needed and then go back to loose passing as needed and attack submissions. When he's attacking submissions, he's attacking them for real, but they offer him the ability to pass guard. One of the near and dear things to my heart that changed my game was he passes from cross ashi which is 411 which is honey hole and so on um he gets in that position gets on top and uses that position to pin and then goes through a system of things that that uh, that he does from there to pass guard so you're not only limited to the leg lock from the honey hole 411 position you can use that to get on top pin the legs down and then begin a guard passing scenario uh at the very end of the video it shows him roll with some pretty good guys uh they're brown and black belts in placido which you know everybody loves placido um he rolls with those guys and passes their guards uh repeatedly those guys uh, offer up some very good solutions. They are not slouches. The guys that he is rolling with at the end of the video, it's not like he's rolling with new guys or guys who are lazy. These guys are are going after it, and you can really see um, what he's doing. And then after he goes through the rolls, then at the very end, then he explains what's going through his mind as uh, he's hitting the rolls, which is uh, very helpful if you are an ADD person that doesn't want to sit through uh, all the instruction or you're watching the instruction and you got to see some action uh, that that will be more for you um, if you compare so I have not seen yet seen uh, John Donaher's version of uh, passing the guard um, I'm sure it's going to be somewhat close to Gordon Ryan I actually prefer uh, John Donaher's methodology of instruction over Gordon's um, it's more smooth and, um, I mean, he is an instructor. Gordon is a competitor and an instructor where John Donaher is an instructor. That's it. And so I like the way he breaks things down. Now, a lot of people don't like the way John teaches because they say it's kind of convoluted, uh, because of all of the, the words that he uses and stuff like that. And, uh, for that, Gordon is probably better uh, as far as that goes. Um, John shows more detail per position or submission. Gordon shows more options per position or submission. Um, either way, it's going to depend on your personality, whether you like it or not. Uh, but anyway, if you are advanced and you have trouble passing the guard, or if you don't have trouble passing the guard, this is definitely worth the money. This is extremely expensive, by the way. Uh, for, I think I got this uh, on one of the BJJ Fanatic sales that was like 40% off. Uh, so 40% off for the BJJ Fanatics. Um, digital content plus this was still like 180 bucks, which is a lot of money, but if you consider the fact that this is going to make you be able to destroy all the people's guards that you're in, um, you know, that's pretty much worth it to me anyway. Um, the other thing is, I know some instructors kind of frown upon you bringing in new information. Um, this is one, this is just an aside, this is one advantage of having a very humble and open-minded instructor. Like Glenn, we bring this kind of stuff in all the time. Like, hey man, I got an idea from Gordon Ryan or Craig Jones or John Donaher or something else. Let's start implementing this in our game plan. And uh, Glenn is totally down with that. Whatever improves our game, he is down with. And uh, hopefully your instructor will uh, understand if you bring in some elements of the game that they pr probably don't know. Um, there are certain things that are in this video that 
you really never see anybody else do. Uh, the biggest thing is posting the hands on the mat. Oh, you're never supposed to post your hands on the mat. You're never supposed to post your hands on the mat. If, if you're in somebody's guard, if you post your hands on the mat, you're gonna get swept or submitted. No, no, no. Gordon does it all the time. Watch his matches. He posts on the mat all the time, but he does it in a very specific instance. And he posts above the shoulder line and he leg pummels. I don't know anybody else who passes that well like that. He go, I mean, he, he dives for it. He dives with his hands on the ground and starts to leg pummel. Um, that's in here. That is not going to be taught at most jiu-jitsu schools. Um, most jiu-jitsu schools would be horrified uh, if you started to do that, especially if you're new, um, because you don't really, I mean, you shouldn't be doing that anyway if you don't know the repercussion, possible repercussions of your actions. But anyway, uh, as always, this video went longer than I expected. Um, highly recommend this. I highly, highly recommend this. Uh, I will report back, once I see the John Donher version of uh, Passing the Guard, I will report back on that because like I said, if for my personality, I, I like John's way of explaining things and stuff better, uh, but I will report back on that. But uh, for this, get it when it's on sale, get it when it's 40% off. Um, and then the reason that I get these DVDs like this, because you can get choose digital content or you can choose digital content with DVDs. The reason that I choose these DVDs is I lend these to my bro my bros at the at the gym. Um, I can ha access the di digital content from my phone or my MacBook or whatever whenever I want. Uh, but those guys can bring these things home and then uh, we'll work on them. And I can tell you everybody at our gym that is doing aspects of this, which is. Pretty much everybody that's advanced it is blowing up with their guard passing game. And uh, something that Gordon says in this, and it's absolutely true, the ideas that he presents in these videos will take years to master. He is just giving you ideas, and you you kind of develop on your own. You know, jujitsu is a science and an art. So the science portion is these are absolutes. This is what you want to look for. Uh, but the art is like, hey man, I think I'm gonna do this kind of like Gordon, but I'm gonna do it in this way. And if your mind processes that better, it's gonna be more effective for you. Uh, anyway, like I said, this is longer than I was expecting. Highly recommend it. No, regardless of whatever you think of Gordon and his Instagram uh, personality or whatever, uh, it. <laughs> it may be painful to bring out the money and know that you're you're sending money to Gordon Ryan, but it's worth it. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for today. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next review. I'm out. Get up, let's go to work. Hard work, work. Hard work. You bag up your shoots. Hard work, work. Hard work.